Hey guys, come along for this awesome two days of wade fishing. Had a lot of luck, caught some really, really nice redfish. So come along, stick around, enjoy this fun two days of wade fishing. Caught some hammer, hammer redfish. Shallow water, doing a lot of the basic stuff we talk about week in and week out here on this channel. Um, a lot of fun. Okay guys, let's hit it. Boys and girls, we hooked up again. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's another nice red, guys. Ooh, look at him running in that in that beautiful water out there, guys. Oh my goodness, you can see him 60 yards out there in that crystal clean water. They are thick. <laughs> he smoked that one guys I, I didn't catch the hookup I didn't catch the hookup uh So I'm, I'm fishing with this new, this new ducket inshore rod, seven foot six rod. I like throwing a longer rod for a core. And so far, it's performing beautiful. I like the length of it. And I've transitioned to these ducket rods pretty recently in the last couple months. And they're a, they got a stiffer backbone. Um, so it can be give and take depending on what you like, but in this situation, when you're catching these, these stud redfish, it really comes in handy. And look, guys, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I'm gonna try to get a good visual. It's crystal clean water. Another really nice redfish. And I am getting these redfish off these shallow flats. They're coming up on them shallow flats. Look how clean that is, huh? Look at that. That's crystal clear see that beautiful redfish in there my goodness people look at that oh my goodness and we are on the redfish bite today guys it don't get any prettier than that folks it really doesn't you come out here to the Mississippi Gulf Coast and get, get yourself on some of these oh my goodness what a blast. I bet you he's 27, 28 inches. Oh, what a fight. My goodness. That is so much fun to do. It's day before Thanksgiving, and I'm out here on a popping cork just shellacking these beautiful redfish. All right, guys, let me get him off the hook. All right, guys, we are hooked up. hooked up guys feels like a real nice fish I think it's a big red I think I think it's a big red but I'm not sure yet Picking up a whole bunch of shrimp and bait. Let's see what we got here. 
it's re it's it's really shallow so he's having to swim back and forth guys back and forth to try to we're getting close here nice red fish guys nice red fish Got them BRM car corks performing beautiful on this red. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There we go, guys. There we go. Beautiful redfish, guys. Beautiful redfish. Fishing some shallow flats. Just some Fishing some shallow flats, BRM cork. Had right there, had a fish bite on, had a piece of a fish bite on, and pretty much a dead shrimp on right there. I was just trying to, I've been doing a little scouting here, seeing if uh, any of these fish came up on the flat, and I've been throwing different things, and uh, that redfish came up and tagged that fish bite. And a little bit of not much left shrimp hanging on to that hook, but uh, hell of a hell of a fight. Let's get him off the hook and let's get him in the uh, let's get him in the net. All right, guys, we're hooked up. We are hooked up, guys. That didn't take long. <laughs> Got that cast out there pretty quick. And that fish came by and struck it. Still out here doing some wade fishing along the beaches. Shoot, he feels a little better now. He feels a little better now. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got here. Man, that water's crystal clear today, guys. Oh. Nice rat red. Gee, I thought it was a speckle trout there for a minute. A nice little rat red there. Beautiful redfish. It's an absolute beautiful redfish. How clean that water is today, guys. My goodness, huh? Look at that. Stunning, man. Just stunning how clean the water is today. But I definitely, them redfish had pushed up on them flats. That's, there ain't no doubt about that. Look at that, guys. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful redfish. He's a little cold. He's a little cold, but he's a pretty one. Get back out there, because he... He struck that really quick. You can see I'm fishing along. See that I'm fishing along these some pylons here, some structure, and it was the bait was only in the water for 20 seconds, and he he drilled it. So let me get back out there and see if I can bring in another one real quick, guys. Let's keep casting, hey, guys. We're out here hooked up on something. It's cold weather. So what we have here. Look, he's swimming right at me. Stingray. Whoa. Got a little stingray action. A little stingray action. Check it out. Yeah, the stingrays are still biting in this cold weather. Sir, stingrays are still biting in this cold weather. You don't want to mess with these dang things. Yeah, if you've never had to deal with them before, guys, and ain't uh or ever got stung by one, it's not pleasant. They got that barb on the back of their tail that will get you. And uh yeah, you're gonna know about it. Be in the hospital for sure. So you see a lot of guys with stingrays. They would just cut their lines or use extended long pliers or something to break it off with. Um, I don't cut my line, but I do, 
I do do my best to stay as far as away I can from them, get the hook out of them, and send them back on their way. Um, that barb on their end of their tail is nothing to play with. It absolutely will ruin your day and your week. <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me get him off the hook, and uh, we'll be back with you. Boom, baby! We hooked up, guys. We are hooked up again. Got a good one on again, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna slowly walk him back, like I, like I talk about, I preach. I think it's a sheep head, maybe. If not, if it's not a sheep head, it's a red. The bite has heated up on the cork. Got a good one, guys. I think it's another sheep. Yeah, another nice sheep head. They're thick right now. Whew, it's another nice, nice one too, guys. That ain't. This ain't little. These ain't little ones we messing with. Catching beautiful sheep on these BRM popping corks. Another nice sheep head. About 24 inches under under the popping cork. Look at that, guys. Beautiful, beautiful sheep. Actually using them under a popping cork. I noticed they've got more aggressive. As this cold front's pushing in, so I want to kind of use that against them. And uh, they've been real aggressive with the cork. All right, let me get him off and see if we can uh, get some more, catch a few more for uh, for this weather gets too bad. Oof, that's another nice one there, guys. Look at that beauty. Oof. Yes, sir. BRM popping corks. See right there. Doing its doing its job. Boy, that, that fin will get you right there. Look at that fin guy. You see right there? Whew. On the bottom of them, you gotta be careful, man. That will get you in the top as well. You have a fooling with these sheep heads, just be careful. They're fins. They're not poisonous like hardhead catfish. But they uh well they will poke the heck out of you. They, they got enough little poison on them. Slime on them, it, it, it'll sting a little bit. I mean, nowhere near jellyfish or hardheads, but they still don't feel great. All right, guys, let me get him off and, and get him in the net. All right, guys, we are hooked up. First fish of this evening. Kind of stuck me. Oh, flounder. First fish of the evening, nice little flounder, guys. Nice little flounder. Ooh, he swallowed it, guys. Check that out. Check that out. Water's been kind of muddy. Beautiful little flounder. First fish of the evening. Been out here about 10 minutes. There you go. There we go. Made it happen. Using popping cork. BRMs. Popping cork. Still absolutely loving them, no issues. Ten minutes, boom, flounder, guys. Alright, let's get them off. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Okay guys, hooked up again here. Don't feel real big. Same spot where I caught that flounder before. Look how pretty them blues on the pinfish right now though. The water temp's dropping. This environment just brings out some of these colors. Look how pretty that is. There's some bait robbing fools. But man, there's some pretty, pretty fish.
All right, we're going to make a transition to the bottom here. I got a feeling that the bite might be on. The only problem that I'm concerned about is uh, with so much bait fish and pinfish here that it might be hard to do anything on the bottom right now. But, all right, guys, stay tuned.